She's finally here, the VBAO. I just wanted to declare that this VBAO was gifted to me by LV at Van Banner, who said I could keep the watch after this review. But I just wanted to state that this will have absolutely no bearing on my review of this watch. Enjoy. But before my review, let's look at the spec. Hello guys and welcome to another review. This time it's the review of the newly released Van Banner AO. Now again just to reiterate that this was sent to me by LV at Van Banner who said I could keep the watch but just wanted to reassure you guys that this will have absolutely no bearing on my review. Now the Van Banner AO arrived in the standard but I have to say just lovely Van Banner box with a quite funky hourglass logo and there she is the VBAO173. So anyway, Van Banner is a Canadian based microband, notable for their production of the LEA and the ultra fantastic Parking Master 2.0. I actually have the Parking Master 2.0 white dial, which is one of my favourite, favourite watches. First impressions of this watch is that it's beautifully designed, but for me the purple dial just screams at me. Now the VBAO is available on the Van Banner website in other colours. You've got the VBAO 171, which is blue, the VBAO 172, which is green, and when Van Banner contacted me to do the review of their new watch, gave me the choice of colours, I had to go for the VBAO 173, which is this beautiful, striking purple. However, first things first, this is a 38mm case, which for me is an ultra small side. I have 7.5 inch wrists. And when I first started collecting watches, I vowed never to go smaller than 44mm. And when I found out that the VBAO was 38mm in the case, and a very slender 11.2mm in thickness, 20mm at the lug, which with a brace that tapered down to 18mm, I don't know, I thought it would actually going to be far too small for me. But I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I think the 46mm lug to lug gives it a more more presiding and supreme feel on the wrist than what you'd expect from a normal 38mm case. 
in the past. I collected mainly divers, and I love that feel of having something quite, quite commanding on the wrist. But you know, as I've gotten older, I don't know. I found that I've kind of leaned towards the smaller size watch. The Parking Master 2.0 was actually one of my first 40mm case sizes, and for me that actually wore fairly big. So basically, if you've got a larger wrist size, trust me, don't let the 38mm case size put you off. It'll wear much bigger than you think. The bracelet is made from 316L stainless steel, and as mentioned, its width is 20mm, which tapers down to 18mm. It has screw link pins, which for me, who's generally very clumsy when adjusting bracelets, just makes life so much easier. I actually find the bracelet very light. It's not a flimsy light. I mean the watch, the bracelet, all of it just oozes class and definitely has an aura of sophistication. The one thing I want to mention about the VBAO is the crystal. It sports a dual curved sapphire crystal with inside anti-reflective coating. For me, as the perspective of that watch dial angles across your eye line, the indices in particular bend around that beautiful dual curved crystal. It's actually mesmerizing to see. Now let's just focus on the dial, because I think, whereas the Parking Master 2.0, for me, really shone through the bezel, with the VBAO, it's all about the dial. Obviously it has no bezel, but this sunburst purple is stunning. And note the second hand has a fluorescent red paint, which stands out from the purple, but in turn really brings out a royal feel of that purple. It sports custom made applied indices, filled with BGW9 Swiss Superluminova, and interestingly, the minute and hour hands are filled with C3 Swiss Superluminova. And also, take note of the curved automatic statement, which was commissioned by Van Banner to be designed by a professional calligrapher. That detail, the colour, the indices, everything about it really is a stunning dial and complemented by the perfect crystal. I'm going to put it on the wrist now, but a few things I've not mentioned. It has a Miata 9039 automatic movement. 28,800 beats per hour, 24 joules, 42 hour power reserve and is hand windable. It's 100 meter water resistant and has a screw down crown 6 millimeters in diameter. But going back to that 38 millimeter K size, again for me I'd have probably never purchased this purely on that dimension, but I would have missed out because it actually does wear much larger and is ultra comfortable to wear on the wrist. I really like this VBAO much more than I would have ever imagined and to share with you the triumph and the exuberance of this timepiece through this review has been nothing short of a real privilege. Well bonjour Van Banner. Yeah it's going to be a long day today mate. My lift's here, I'm off. Welcome to Tropical World in Leeds, and that is a crocodile. Back. 
Night-night, Van Banner.